if you look at these saws, uh, they have basically kind of the same components. It's almost like they're all made in the same place and then they just change a few parts or they source their parts from the same uh, places over there in China and then assemble them with their stuff on it. But uh, if you look at a Blue Max, which is the one that they, the Chinese saw they sell out of like Rural King, it, a lot of it is almost identical if you, if you really kind of look at it. Uh, one of the main things that changes is the air filters. So some of the air filters have, um, like this one has just a bolt to hold it down. And then when you get in there, you remove the air filter. But some of the, some of the other Chinese saws actually have the screw in the top, like the, like the stills do. Um, so this kind of varies a little bit. The pull starters are all basically the same design and size. But the rope might exit back here like a blue max or whatever. But generally, they're all the same. The most, all of the um, caps and everything look identical. The oilers and all that looks the same. They are. Uh, all plastic. It's not metal over here. It's all kind of just cheap plastic. You got to kind of be careful with it. It has the. Um, it has the kill switch kind of like an echo so I don't know if they maybe robbed that design or theory from echo or wherever echo stole it from Shindao or whatever but the chokes kind of the same um, it doesn't have the throttle lock um, it does uh, it does have metal cases like like a professional saw would have um, I don't, I mean, I'm not saying that makes it any better, but it is twin cases with the, the plastic handle. One of the nice things about this saw is it's super light. It's easy to, to limb with and reach up in a tree and cut limbs off and stuff with, because it is much lighter than a rancher. Um, it runs really well, honestly. This one has the, um, assisted start, like a lot of the a Husqvarna weed eaters and stuff. I don't really care for that, but it, it is what it is. I think you can buy a different uh, pull starter for five or six bucks and switch it out, but it, it works fine. It seems to function okay. The saw uh, starts and runs fine. Um, it doesn't have a primer bulb, so sometimes if it sat for a while, you got to pump it and maybe put a little bit of gas in the intake to get it to take off. But well, after you've been running it for a while, it'll start and run fine. But um, it has pretty decent power. You can't hog into, um, say, a big old 20-inch white oak with it. It'll cut it. It'll throw big old chunks, but it doesn't have the ass that, say, one of these bigger saws would have. And you know it. The guys that run chainsaws a lot, you know it immediately, what it will and what it, what it won't do. Like I said, it's more for like a smaller saw to do limbing and stuff. It's be a good saw. Well, what do you say we... Uh, Head out to the wood pile and we'll make a cut with it. Pretty decent. 